Welcome to this tutorial for ScanExpress Debugger. In this video, we'll briefly cover the new interface elements added with ScanExpress Debugger version 6.01. The main pin grid interface now includes a topology viewer that displays a graphical representation of the JTAG chain. Double clicking on a component in the chain will open a display window for that device. Display windows can be docked by dragging and dropping the window on an arrow icon. The arrows within the existing subwindow represent positions within that subwindow, while the arrows closest to the outside of the window represent positions relative to the overall window. We'll begin by placing this component display window on the right hand side of the overall interface. If a component display window is already open, we can choose to dock our next window to the overall window, to the subwindow, or we can even add a tab to the existing component display window by dropping the display window on the middle icon. We'll dock the new display window to the right side of the main window. We'll add our third display window to the right side of the main window as well. Notice that the application rearranges the overall window to make room for each display window. This allows pin numbers to be displayed by default. We can resize the component display windows by dragging and dropping the window edge. The component display will automatically resize to fit within the new window size. Let's add another row for the two remaining components. By dragging the display window onto the arrow for the sub-window, it will have the same width as the window above it. Each component display window has an icon in the upper left corner to show or hide a legend. Since we have some extra room in the far right display, let's show the legend. The legend details the meaning of each icon and color. If colors have been customized for a given display window, the legend will be updated to reflect the new colors. Now that we have our display windows in place, let's use the sample continuous function to observe signal states. Notice that the activity is reflected in both the component display windows and in the pin grid. This makes it easy to observe pin and group activity at a glance. The Stop Sampling button can be used to stop the continuous sampling operation, but let's leave it running for now. Each component display window supports zooming in and zooming out using the mouse wheel, hotkeys, or a context menu. A Move Chip to Center function is provided as an easy way to fit the chip within the component display window. Finally, Component windows can be customized to show only input, only output, or only pins that have been added to the pin grid. This concludes our overview of the ScanExpress Debugger interface update. For more information, or to request a personal demo, please visit www.corellis.com.